Hello students, welcome to our channel, Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today, we have come up with an interesting and creative working model for you related to units of measurement. With the help of this working model, we will learn measurement units that is standard unit, lower units and higher units to measure length, mass and capacity. Then we will also learn how to convert lower units to higher units and higher units to lower units. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have made many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, one OHP sheet and a bottle of glue. Aim of this art integrated project is to understand the conversion of units of measurement of length, mass and capacity with the help of this measurement working model. Students, if you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. We also have separate videos on complete chapter of measurement for both class 4 as well as for class 5. So I would recommend you to watch these comprehensive videos. You will find their links below in the description box. Now let's start with our activity. In the first step, take a colored sheet and cut out 7 rectangles each of 13 cm long and 3.5 cm wide as shown here. In the next step, take a white colored sheet of paper and draw small squares on it to write numbers on them. After that, we will cut out these squares. Students, we will need 49 such squares. Now, with the help of a black marker, write numbers 0 and 1 on these squares as shown here. Now with help of glue, let's paste these numbers on the orange strips which we had cut earlier. We will paste 1 and then 6 zeros on each strip. In the next step, we will take a green colored sheet and draw 7 triangles on it. Then we will carefully cut out these triangles using pair of scissors. Students, we have lot of activities related to chapter, multiples and factors. Like we have an activity to find multiples of any number. We have a separate activity to find factors of any number. You will find the link to these videos below in the description box. Now, with help of glue, let's paste these green triangles on the top of orange strips as shown here. Now, students, Let's write kilo in the first triangle, hecto in the second triangle, deca in the third triangle, 
and unit in the fourth triangle here this unit is the standard unit which is meters in case of measurement of length gram in measurement of mass and liter in case of measurement of capacity next we will write deci centi and milli now in the next step let's take a red sheet of paper and cut out seven rectangles of width 4 cm and length 12 cm each now take any red rectangle to make a window we will fold this rectangle into three parts as shown here then let's place the orange column in the center and make sure it is between the folds similarly fold rest of the six windows next fold and paste each of the windows with the help of glue as shown here so students we have made seven such windows now students take one yellow colored sheet and cut out a rectangle of width 12 cm and length 35 cm next let's fold this rectangle into three parts and then with help of glue paste all the seven windows as shown here if you still not have subscribed to our channel learning notebook then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon students we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 4 class 5 and class 6 mathematics we also have interesting maths quizzes worksheets working models activities and projects on each chapter so i would suggest you to check out our channel learning notebook now with the help of paper cutter cut out a big window from this rectangle and then fold and paste it to form the base of the working model now cut on the top and bottom of each window so that we can insert the orange column in each of these windows now students take the ohp sheet which is the transparent sheet available at all the stationery shops from this ohp sheet we have to cut out three rectangles of length 36 cm and width 3.8 cm each so these are the three rectangles which we have cut out from the ohp sheet now students preparation for our working model is complete so let's assemble it take a cardboard and paste a white chart paper on it then write the heading measurement now 
at the bottom of this cardboard paste the super window as shown here now students insert the orange columns in each of these seven windows in the order of kilo hecto deca unit deci centi and milli in the next step we will insert one of the ohp rectangle in this super window and then with the help of the black marker we will write kilometer hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter on this ohp rectangle if you still not have subscribed to our channel learning notebook then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon so students now we have made the working model of measurement of length let's see how to use this working model if you see carefully when we are moving from higher unit to lower unit we are multiplying by 10 and when we are moving from lower unit to higher unit we are multiplying by 1 by 10 students we will solve some questions to understand this concept better now students let's insert the second ohp rectangle in this super window and with the help of black marker write the units of measurement of mass and similarly we will insert the third ohp rectangle and write the units of measurement of capacity now let's solve a question using this working model we have to find 1 hectometer equal to how many meters students since question is about 1 hectometer so let's show 1 hectometer in hectometer column and hide all other columns now to move from hectometer to decameter we have to make a jump of 10 so 1 into 10 equal to 10 so let's move up the decameter column to show 10 now to move from decameter to meter we again need to make a jump of 10 and 10 into 10 equal to 100 so let's move up the meter column to show 100 so students it means 1 hectometer equal to 100 meters Now let's solve one more question using this working model. This time we have to find 1 meter equal to how many millimeters. Now the question is about 1 meter. So let's show 1 in meter column and hide all other columns. Now to move from meter to decimeter we have to make a jump of 10 so 
इंटू टेन इक्वल टू टेन सो वी विल मूव अप द डेसीमीटर कॉलम टू शो टेन नेक्स्ट टू मूव फ्रॉम डेसीमीटर टू सेंटीमीटर अगेन वी नीड टू मेक अ जम्प ऑफ टेन सो वी विल डू टेन इंटू टेन इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड सो लेट्स मूव अप द सेंटीमीटर कॉलम टू शो वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइनली टू मूव फ्रॉम सेंटीमीटर टू मिलीमीटर वी विल अगेन मेक अ जम्प ऑफ टेन एंड वन हंड्रेड इंटू टेन इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड so let's move up the millimeter column to show 1000 so students in this way we have found 1 meter equal to 1000 millimeter using this working model now let's do a question on conversion of lower unit to higher unit so here let's find 1 meter equal to how many kilometers so let's show 1 meter on the meter column and hide all other columns now we'll make a jump of 10 to move from meter to decameter so let's show 10 on decameter column in the same way we are going to show 100 on hectometer column and 1000 on kilometer column so here students since we are moving from a lower unit to higher unit so we are going to write it as 1 meter equal to 1 upon 1000 so 1 meter equal to 1 upon 1000 kilometer let's do one more question using this working model this time we are going to solve 1 cm equal to how many meters so let's show 1 in the cm column 10 on decimeter column and 100 on meter column so again here we are moving from a lower unit to higher unit so we are going to divide so 1 cm equal to 1 by 100 meter Now in the same way we can solve questions on conversion of mass units and conversion of capacity units by using the respective OHP sheet This time the question is about conversion of mass units So let's change the OHP sheet of mass units We have to find 1 g equal to how many milligrams so let's show 1 in gram column 10 in decigram column 100 in centigram column and 1000 in milligram column so this means 1 gram equal to 1000 mg so if you are a teacher this working model will certainly help you to teach students the concept of measurement units and their conversion and if you are a student this working model is very useful for you to make maths art integrated project on measurement thanks for watching Do watch my other videos and share my videos and my channel with your friends and family. Bye bye. See you in the next video.